What's up everybody, Brian with 3DO here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to stream stereo binaural audio using a 3DO microphone into a two-channel audio interface, and then into a computer using OBS software. Now in this particular video I'm using the 3DO FS model. This is our base model. It has a 3.5 millimeter stereo output, but if you have an FS XLR or an FS Pro 2, like this, you can also use the XLR outputs using XLR cables into the audio interface as well. Now the first thing you want to do is grab the splitter cable. Now every 3DO microphone comes with a splitter cable similar to this. On one end, it has a TRS stereo connector, that's tip ring sleeve, TRS and then it splits out into two TS quarter inch connectors. This is the left signal for black and the right signal for red. And these are mono signals. So the first thing you wanna do is plug the 3.5 millimeter connector into the 3DO. Plug the black connector into channel one and the red connector into channel two. And then if you're using the 3.5 millimeter output, turn the power switch of the 3DO on. Then you can connect the audio interface to your computer. The first thing you want to do is make sure that your gain settings are identical. So for this video, I'm going to set them to about, about 2 o'clock. If you're using the XLR cables on the FSXLR or FS Pro 2, you're going to want to turn the 48 volt phantom power on and then turn the power switch of the 3DO off because we'll be supplying phantom power through the XLR cables into the microphone. The reason why we recommend the Scarlett 2i2 is because it has this direct monitor feature. If you press the button, it begins monitoring in the headphone output. This single circle means that it's a mono signal that's coming out of the headphone output. But if you click it one more time, you see the two circles illuminated, and that means it's broadcasting stereo. And what it does is it pans this channel one all the way to the left, and this channel two all the way to the right. So when you plug headphones into this output, you're getting true binaural audio directly from the audio interface. Now, one thing I want to mention is that a lot of headphones come with eighth inch connectors like this. So you might need an adapter to connect to the audio interface and then plug your headphones into that. One thing to keep in mind is that some headphone connectors are TRRS connectors. So they actually have three rings instead of two rings. Sometimes these can provide some issues when you connect them to an adapter like this. This is a TRS adapter, but then this is a TRRS headphone jack. So just FYI, you might run into some issues getting a stereo signal if you try to combine these two. All right, now that we have the 3DO connected to the audio interface and the audio interface connected to the computer, let's jump into the computer and then we can get OBS set up. All right, now that we have everything connected to the computer, the first thing you're gonna wanna do is set up the audio interface as the primary audio input source for the computer itself. So what you wanna do is you'll wanna go to the system preferences or the system settings and then from there, click on sound or audio, go to the input tab and choose your audio interface. Close that window. Then you're gonna to wanna to open up OBS software and it'll look something like this. Now we'll want to do the same thing, but for the software itself. So we'll go to OBS, go to preferences, and you'll see there's an audio tab here and there's several microphone options in this device section. Scarlett 2i2 is already pre-selected for us, 
but if you have any other audio input sources here, you're gonna to wanna to disable them. If you have another audio input source selected here, there's a possibility that you'll be hearing both sources simultaneously, which might provide an echo. So you'll wanna disable everything except for the first microphone input and click OK. Then what we'll do is in the sources section, click this little plus button, choose audio input capture, click OK. And then here is where we'll choose our device and then click OK. And now you can see there are two small lines here that are moving up and down as I speak. And we know it's stereo audio because when I speak into the left ear, the top line moves up and down. And then when I speak into the right ear, the bottom line moves up and down. This means we have true stereo binaural audio in OBS. And that's how you set up stereo binaural audio. You can also add your video capture device if you have a camera. Just pre select it here and click OK. Or you can do a screen capture or for whatever you're streaming. If you like this video, please give it a like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.